Hi, this is Dan. Hope everyone is staying safe. And we're back with Software Inc's Beta 1.7.20. Today we're going to try to answer a question that was posted at Software Inc's Discord. I'll post the question here on the monitor. We'll get into it after the intro. Okay, frameworks. What is the framework? A framework is a platform for development software application. It provides a foundation for software developers to build programs for a specific platform or task. The question asked was as follows. I've got a question. How do I upgrade frameworks? I don't see anywhere to upgrade the frameworks to a newer tech level. That was the question it's supposed to hear by like I said I'm probably butchering his name for that I do apologize. Law not. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, in order to answer that question, we're gonna go into here. We just had a release in nineteen eighty three and in this place to be believe it or not, nineteen eighty three I acquired three applications that you see here. Office 2D and a 2D. That will not be covered in this playthrough. Maze Games RTS March 1983 Outstanding. That was released. If we go here to trade details, it released with System Tech Levels 1974, 2D Tech Levels 1975, and Audio Tech Levels 1977. And it released on March 1983. And as customary, as soon as I release an application, the first thing I do is I update the tech levels, which is what this is up here. And if we move into tomorrow, that should complete. And before that completes, let me let's just make a, take a picture of this. Okay, 1974, 75, and 77, system to the audio. Remember that. Okay, that is completed. As soon as that completes, that's it, we completed it. The reporting, we also have to update this, we'll change the teams. We're gonna go for PBDB, we're gonna do the debug patch bugs. That's the next step. And there's no bugs to patch right now, but that's out there. When you come through, it will be cleaned up. Okay, so let's go. If we wanted to make a sequel, which nobody's gonna make a sequel as soon as it was released, but just to show you, we're gonna go make the sequel. It's gonna come up 1980, 1978, 1981, because it's been upgraded, and the new framework should show those. We're gonna advance existing, Framework 81, 78, and 81. Well, this is 81, this is 80. So we can attach the framework and it'll go up to 81. So that means we should be able to push this up. And it says no. Missing research. Missing research. Audio is up to 82. Two days up to eighty, and system is up to eighty-one. Okay, so for system, the highest tech level out right now is eighty-one. System eighty-one. Two D is seventy-eight, and audio is eighty-one. The reason we're not able to move to those tech levels in these applications is because of here. We go to all the systems. The last release was in 83. We go to details. The 83 tech levels for 78. This one's 82, so this one may be a little better. Tech levels are 80. So that's the highest tech level you can use. Now our framework's updated to 81 but we can't use it until there's a system operating system that uses that tech level. 
So this is how you stay ahead of the market. 2D is 80 and audio is 80. And we are at 81, 78, and 81. You can't update a framework past the available tech level that's up there, but you can't use it until there's an operating system, a 2D editor, or an audio editor that is set tech level. So let's go do a little test. We're going to jump forward a year from now. Okay, so we've jumped forward to July of 1983. We're researching 2D 1983 and audio 1983. We hopes of being able to capitalize on that. And if we look at major tech levels, details now is basically still 81, 78, 81. Let's go through this research and let's go see what we can do. Let's jump forward and get those research done. I'm rather than have you guys wait here. Okay, we've jumped forward to February 1984. We just finished researching 2D 1983. So we're going to finish this. The minute we finish this, we ask if we want to patent it and we say yes. I'm going to push this button to 10. Move it to the top. And there's a law team in place to handle the patenting. So that will be taken care of by the law team. Now we come back here and we go to Maze, create a sequel. Maze 2, go to Advanced, go to Existing, and the Existing is RTS 1981, 81, and 78. I'm going to take a picture of this. 81, 78, and 81. So, and if we to advance that framework, we're going to go to Maze here, support. So we can only update 2D to 1983. But if we go to look at our research, we have research audio to 1983. As far as we held the research to 1983, so how come we cannot label anything else up here? If we go to maze, we go to details, we go to tech levels, 81, 78, and 81. We go to features, we have audio, 2D. So why is it not letting us update? that audio and if we go here it should tell us why but it's not even showing us so what i'm going to do is well this is patenting let's move forward okay 2d is being able to patent that so that's patent so now we have both patents 2d83 and audio 83 and we're researching 84 over here. Okay, so now, if we got to update maze, we're able to update to 83, and we're able to update to 2D80. We haven't researched 81, so we don't, don't have the capabilities yet. So we're going to use print shop by 2D editor by, that we own. And we're going to use the only audio amplitude tools that's out there. So that being said, let's select our update team, which is always core and art. We're not going to do patches. So core and art, we're not going to do patches. We're going to update this. Bring this to the top. Look at the 5. is 8.30 a.m. This should be done in no time by our team. Finish. Okay, so let's move into the end of the day. Give the system a time to update. Three o'clock, everybody's going home. So we're going to do a create a sequel now. We're going to have create a, yes. Okay, make a sequel. Advance, existing, 
and we're going to select RTS 1983. It shows 81, 80, and 83. So 81, 80, and 83. What does that mean? We go here. We go to 2D editors. The last 2D editor to be released was in 84. And the tech levels for that 2D, 2D editor was 80. Remember what I said before. If there is no tool in the market. It limits you to how high your tech levels could be pushed. 80. And 83 is the last. This is the last 83. And tech levels are 80. If there's no tools to support your tech levels, so what does that mean? If you have a tool, you can upgrade that tool. That's what that means. Let's put this on hold. Do we have a tool? No, we haven't created one. Okay, so I asked the question again. Do we have a tool? Yes. And the reason we have a tool is because we acquired it as a result of a bankruptcy. Somebody that we had invested in. So if we upgrade this and we will have to go to our upgrade teams. Core. Okay, so they are set. We don't want to do patches. So we want to upgrade system 81 and 2D 83 on this application. Push this to 10. And it's 6 p.m., so we're not going to see this today. We're going to see it tomorrow. Our crack team will come in and plow through this thing, as they always have, provided there's nothing else they're doing. Our team may have something else, but I don't think Core has anything else. Okay, finish. So we go right here. Let this keep this running. We go right here again. And are we able to raise this now? RTS system was 81. Audio was 83 and 2D was 80. Okay, so 81, 83, and 80. If we increase this, we lose the ability to keep this at a year. See, it goes about a year, so it went up. And then we're able to push this to 83. So how do you get around that? You go back to the drawing board. You go back to maze. You raise maze to 83. Use the 3D operating system. You use a 2D editor. And you update another ending cycle. 9.56. That should be done in no time. And we forgot to take the debug and I still did it in time. Okay, so let's go look at this again. RTS 1983. So it's 81, 83, and 83. If we had an operating system out of the market above 81 would be at 81 we would be able to upgrade it also we don't have an operating system with 81 if we check again here operating systems tech level are uh, 81 so that's the highest tech level you can go so now we're able to get this out there into the market within a year's time in 1984 it took us about six months to get it done we saved ourselves for a year's work. We're going to the market with the highest tech levels, and that's how you stay ahead of everybody else. Stay ahead of a competition that was at the highest tech level. Now, I was able to do the 2D because I acquired a 2D editor as a result of a company I had invested in going bankrupt. I acquired these 2D editors. If I had acquired an audio, we would also be able to upgrade that. We would have been able to upgrade the audio quicker. But there is, luckily enough, there was, our audio was up to 3D. And somebody is out there with a 3D editor up to 383. Who is it? Okay, so Amplitude Tools has an audio tool that uses tech level because we patented it. Other companies will use the, uh, the tech and we'll get royalties, so... Remember, you do not have to patent it to use it yourself, but for, you patent it so that other companies can use it and you get a royalty. So that's, that's how we were able to push the audio up to 1983 for sampler to studios without with the audio, even though they're bad quality. So bad quality or no quality, it, it, was, it was the only thing available in 1983 to technologies and we used it. So that allowed us to push that up. So we're actually able to make a sequel by just raising 
the tech levels and not adding anything else. And we still have a 1.7 consumer reach. And we could put this out in less than a year. Want to make it better? Just add something to it. Now it's about a year. Well, we add a 2D. If we add a recorded dialogue here, it's going to make it about a year also. We have both. You can still get it above a year. So that's the power of research and framework. You don't have to have the 3D editor off. You got to have a patent and somebody puts it out there. 1983, we're able to use it. You're more powerful if you have the system technology, the 2D technology, and the audio technology that you could actually raise the tech levels to your research levels that you research. That keeps you in control. That puts you ahead of everybody else. Having the research done, you're going to make money with the patents, and you're going to be able to have the highest technology out there on the street. And even though we didn't have that 2D graphics that we were able to level up, we could have waited one, one, two, or three months, and somebody else would have basically started using it, your patent, and put out an 83 2D tech level. But it's always better to have it in-house. Having those applications, even if they just have it in in-house app, you could use it. You'll be able to raise your levels. Hope you guys got something out of this, how you can control the market by research and frameworks. Research and frameworks, you can control the market. My company is 60.2 million, and I've only put out one product. If we go here, Creator, yes, I've only put out one product. You could fund your whole company with just one product, research, frameworks, and investing in other companies. We're only in 1984, so I did that in four years. Hope you guys got something out of this. I enjoy sharing my knowledge. I basically have a very analytical mind, and it's always working, always looking to resolve the next problem. If you guys have anything that you would like to question, something you'd like to submit for my resolutions, videos, I'll be more than happy to give you full credit for it. I appreciate the likes. The shares, you know, that's what helps this channel grow. So I ask that you please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Special thanks to all my subscribers. We do appreciate you. Stay safe. Keep those around you safe. Latin out.